city celebrating a group that has been on the front lines for more than a year. 44 News reporter Ella Shemwell is showing us how our tri-state nurses are being thanked during this special week. You know, a lot of fear for sure at first because you just didn't really know at that time what was going to come to the door. And Deborah Pate, nurse of five years at Owensboro Health Regional Hospital, reflecting on the beginning of the unknown. You know, what if a sick patient came in? What are we going to do? And are we going to do the right thing? Pate is not only a labor and delivery nurse. It's to be there with families on one of the best days of their lives. She is also a wife and a mother. But this does not stop her from ensuring her patients are well taken care of. Just picked up extra to help uh, with our screening shifts and screening patients when they come in uh, and our vaccine clinic now too. And it does not go unnoticed. The selfless, caring nature of our nurses has just, it's just amazing. Early in the pandemic, nurses were much more than just health care providers to their patients. They have been at the side of our COVID patients. They've held their hand. They've prayed with them. They've even cried with them when their families were not able to be with them. In December of 2020, nurses received relief in the form of a vaccination. We got vaccinated pretty much the first day that they offered it to us. And the best gift nurses everywhere could ask for is for everyone to continue to get vaccinated. But as we continue into this pandemic, enough cannot be said about our